Hi there, we're on uh, Plasma, as you might have seen already. The ISO is the one for the beginning of July. And so we've uh, selected Arco Plasma. What else did we do? Oops, stuff is better. We've uh, used X4, and um, that's basically it. That's the most important thing. All the rest is temp files I see that we have here. All kind of things, run, run, run. So information, bottom thing is what you want to know. Um, sudo use is something else we have as a overview of what you did. So I am on UFI. I have installed ChatWN desktop and Plasma X11 desktop together with Hyperland with Plasma desktop, which is Wayland and Wayfire. So four desktops on this one. System D boot is here. I have SDDM. I have NVIDIA installed, so it's an old machine. Um, 10 years old, yes. So Control T, how old? It's more or less correct. It's not 100%, but it's, it gives you an indication 2024. So that's cool. Oh, cool, not cool. It's an old machine, but still kicking, right? NVIDIA DRM mode set. We're not using this one here. N not found in that one in Grub, but found in the loader system reboot, which is correct. And voila. So topic of the video this is just going around looking around what is this thing right we've uh, installed let's do that first we use the scripts that means that there is something for me personally get nemesis on Arclex. when you run this script what you get you get a folder data and in the folder we have the Arclex nemesis script change it anyway you see fit put it on your own github change the name whatever and then I run current choices and current choices will run this and that and that and that and not this and not that on this and this and that again, right? So my plasma is no longer the official plasma. My plasma has, for instance, in this terminal here, transparency. But rather than setting it each time again, go in there and go set it, you copy paste over a file or you add settings to a file, etc. So that's done in Arclinx Nemesis, so I don't need to write it again and again and again and again right so scripting is interesting topic of the video is system settings this is the machine that does not wake up that means we have we get KDE well we there KDE makes the packages Arch Linux builds them we download them and we don't change it right that's the normal principle of course, you want to rise things, right? But you have to take into account there is one little glitch on this machine, not on other machines. Energy saving has to be off for me. So I copy paste things over, then say after a period of inactivity, do nothing. If I go to sleep and I walk away and come back with in an hour, the screen will be black. And whatever I do, whatever I touch, TTY, whatever I do, right? I can't wake this thing up. It seems to be awake in the sense of the keyboard and the machine, the computer works, but the monitor stays black, right? So I don't do this. That's the only thing I have to remember on this particular computer system. I say after a period of inactivity, do nothing. Do not suspend. And that's it. That's it. Then uh, everything is, 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 uh, is okay and is working and is fine, but you can have a look and see if you want to do more like this one for instance when power button is pressed just immediately shut down that is ideal for the evening you're done computing right you push push in the button and poof it just goes down when sleeping enter stand by hybrid sleep stand by and hibernate so have a look at all the settings there are so so many settings in here i'm sure there is something in here for for everybody for every solution there must be something in here so I've changed already the configs the way I like that might be also a good idea right you know there's so many videos about it but basically you make a copy and you compare there is melt for that so we have already backups as you see here but make your own control C control V give it the name Eric or something well not Eric but your first name and then you start changing and the difference between these two guys you could compare it the difference and um, this one, I think, 
and then you see what's different each time you do something you change something in system settings and then you realize oh it's that file and it's that line that's going to be changed we can do an example if you want to and then we end the video so if we have this one and we're talking about well i want to avoid that you end up with a black screen right we're talking about this if we want to go to sleep and we apply this something must have changed there are two things that can change there are two things here's the power devil and then it's ah, yeah, power devil okay right and here it says how to suspend action zero which probably doesn't mean a lot right but it's because of the selection it's gone now right this is this is the backup I'm always be sure what you're looking at the right one is the one that was the backup I changed something and now I have this the left so basically one line less so if I don't want the setting I just changed I go back right <laughs> just put it back in and it's back okay so auto suspend action is false zero is probably false right common sense ah, fine. so you investigate that's one thing and local is another thing so there's a lot of stuff and plasma in here the K here have a look around dolphin is balu is there clipper is here kd6 ko all 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 plasma settings so if you're going to change something via scripts you have to make sure where are the settings right where are the settings all right have fun